to join us today. <laughs> Hi everybody! It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! Yay. He's so excited. Okay, we got a lot of new people to welcome no to the kidding. community. No kidding. Yeah! Has everybody noticed? Do I have this on right? Yeah. Has everybody noticed? We took a big jump. Keep them coming, guys. Keep them coming. We like it. Yeah. Okay, now remember, if I say anybody's name wrong, just correct me and we'll, we'll fix it next week. <laughs> okay. Stephanie Mayhood. Welcome to the neighborhood. The legend. Welcome to the neighborhood. He answered our tag. And go check out his channel. He's awesome. Mackie J. Lozada. Ah, welcome to the neighborhood. I, yourself, I always you? kind of wait to see how he says I'm going to say it right. Annie Creasy. Not sure if you're new or not, but I always like to play it safe. Welcome to the neighborhood. Vikings Lapo. Did I say it right? Vikings Lapo. Looks right. Okay. Well, we all know, or I know, why he's on our channel, and I hope he sticks around no matter what. So, welcome to the neighborhood, and Casey, keep those updates coming so he <laughs> sticks around. Okay. Pete Price, welcome to the neighborhood. Barbara Burks, again, not sure if you've been around or not. Kind of sound familiar, sounds familiar, but I'm going to play it safe. Welcome to the neighborhood. Sunshine, same thing. Kind of got a name that's been familiar, but not sure, so welcome to the neighborhood. Mari Oliveros. I think it's Mary. Is that an O or an A? M-A-R-I. Mary. Mary Oliveros. Welcome to the neighborhood! And she has a channel, so go by and check it out. Sunny LaFountain. Welcome to the neighborhood. Bonjour Ariana. Welcome to the neighborhood. Carly Elizabeth. Welcome to the neighborhood. And she has a channel, so go by and check her out. Ashley Morrissey. Again, not sure if you've been around and already been welcome, but just in case. Welcome to the neighborhood. Okay. Or. Or? What happened to this guy? Th those aren't welcomes. Okay. Boy, you're just all over the place. I know what I'm doing. Just, did I say it right? Or. Or. Welcome to the neighborhood. O-A-R. Raul and Christy Acosta, shout out to you. Okay, now we got Greg Myers. Happy birthday on Saturday, September 19th. How old are you going to be, Greg? You didn't tell me. Hmm? How old? Samantha Daka, congratulations on the birth of your baby boy named Jaden. Uh, Bethany, hi! Check out Sylvia Phillips' channel, guys. And Sierra Sanderson, happy belated 21st birthday. Her birthday was September 9th. Hope you had a fun, happy, safe 21st. And Katie Caroline, we need some thoughts and prayers again. Her father was in a car accident and totaled their car. He is okay, but they're going to have to buy a new car, and financially that's always a struggle. So if everybody can keep Katie and her father and their entire family in your thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate that. Okay, my dad underwent another surgery today. Keep him in your thoughts and prayers. His surgery did go well, but any surgery is very um, dangerous with his type of medical Condition. conditions. My sister, with her open heart surgery that she had, she 
is now being the main caregiver to my mom and my dad, and she's having some difficulties. So if everybody could please keep Karina, my sister, in your thoughts and prayers as well. Did I hit everybody? I think so. I think so. So my question last week was brought to you by Terry Johnson. What was your favorite, or is your favorite game show, past or present? Terry Johnson's answer is Family Feud, and she plays right along with them, and she gets most of the answers correct. And she likes the one with Steve Harvey, because he makes her laugh. He makes everybody laugh. Lots of people put Family Feud with Steve Harvey down. And Bill always says to her, oh, please, are you watching that show again? But my parents are addicted to that one, too. They love Steve Harvey. He just makes the funniest comments on some of their answers and funniest expressions and everything. Really good game show. Um, Angie Lupus Life. Let's make a deal because she liked to see what the outfits were that the contestants were wearing. And I used to like to watch that because at the end, he used to go into the audience and say, could you have this? And they would dig through their purses and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. Maureen McLean, Mom, are you smarter than a fifth grader? And Jeopardy. She's been watching Jeopardy since I've known her back in 2003. Since so. I've known her. Yeah, she loves Jeopardy. And are you smarter than a fifth grader? She likes that show a lot, I know. Um, Melissa Thompson, doggy dog, dog. She loves the challenges. They look like a lot of fun and makes her want to join in. Now, have you ever heard of Doggy Dog? I haven't either, so we're going to have to look that one up, Melissa. Uh, Dougie Styles, the weakest link. He remembers Annie Robinson, devilishly clever put downs. I remember the, the game show, The Weakest Link, but I don't remember the devilishly clever put downs. So maybe I missed that part. And Bubba the Love Spuns, Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, Match Game, which is one of my favorites, with Gene Rayburn, that's an oldie, and Family Feud with Richard Dawson, that's an oldie also. So all of those are good game shows. What, did you ever watch any game shows? I never ever liked game shows, ever. Uh, I remember as a child, if you were sick and you had to stay home, that's all that was on, except um, the soap operas. So it's either a soap opera or a game show. Other thing is, and I think this may be a California thing, and um, there I would get home from from school, and the first thing I would watch is Dark Shadows. <laughs> there you go, Michael. And then, and then there was this void between Dark Shadows and something worth watching. And in that void was a, 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 a game show called Beat the Clock. Oh, yeah. It was the worst, worst game show I ever seen, but I ended up having to watch it every day. Plus, other than that, or not watch TV, which I probably should have done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I liked, um, I used to, when I, when I was home, I used to watch the game show network all day long. Um, I don't do that much anymore, but um, I liked Match Game was my, one of my favorites. I loved that game. Um, they, they didn't do a remake of that one like they did with Family Feud. Match Game, uh, Price is Right, uh, $20,000 $20, Pyramid, but whatever the number is. The Pyramid one, I like that game. And I kind of got a little addicted to the family feud with Steve Harvey being back east with my mom and dad because it was pretty darn funny. Steve Harvey is pretty funny with that show. Anybody remember so. Hollywood Squares? Yeah, um, actually that was Tanya Longley, one of Tanya Longley's answers. Hollywood Squares and the dating game. I like the dating game. Mwah! <laughs> remember at the end where they all blew a kiss? <laughs> So, anyway, my question for this week is, what is your perfect pizza? Pizza! Pizza! Bye. Pizza! It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Beep, 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 beep. See, I only 
pick on him a little bit tonight. Okay. First thing I need to do is to apologize to Narissa Khan because I missed her last week. She had the answer to, to uh, the trivia question, which was hypnosil. And um, every now and then, the uh, when you when you sort the questions, things disappear. I remember her answering it, but when I went to write them down, it wasn't there. So I that, tell him not to sort them that way, but he doesn't listen to me. No, I don't listen to her. So the question for this week was. Uh, it was kind of a complicated one. People were not quite sure how to answer it. Um, Peter Jackson, of course, who you know has uh, done uh, the Lord of the Ring movies. Um, one of his earlier movies was called um, uh, Dead Alive. It was actually called Brain Dead originally. And the question had to do with um, the, the rat monkey that was supposed to have been stolen from an island and taken to New Zealand. And where was, what island was it, and what other movie did, did Jackson direct um, yeah, that has used island. the same island? It was, of course, Skull Island, and it was supposed to be the same island that King Kong was on. And so that was his um, homage to the 1933 King Kong, which he then later made himself. And those who got that correct was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and the Abyss 92882. Woohoo! And tonight's question um, has to do with the 1990 remake of Night of the Living Dead. With Nair Kitchen. Yes, it was uh, directed by Tom Savini. And uh, he, there's a lot of interesting stuff in there, but when you come up to the farmhouse, that they all survived in. On the wall, just in front of the door, it says M. Celeste. What is that a reference to, and why is it on the house? Good question. I know it is. Very good question. Yeah. I don't know the answer. I do. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> there you have it. There's your question of the week and your trivia question of the week. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very, very much. Put it right there over my big card. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Be sure to go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye 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 b